Hello people, welcome to the all new Megan E-Tech electric uh, SUV hatchback, whichever you want to call it, it's okay with me. But I am excited that finally this car has made it alive and I made it in my lifetime. It is a great looking vehicle. Let's just go have a look at what it is and why I think it's kickstarting a new phase in the electric mobility business in Europe and in other places now. So at Renault, Megan is synonymous with a compact hatch. I hope you guys are all aware. A model that has been a part of their lineup for over 26 years over four different generations okay so this all new megan e-tech electric pays homage to that heritage through its design and versatility it keeps the genetic makeup and optimism that is a hallmark of each new generation of megan making it an, an icon of its segment in pleasure to drive comfortability having a peace of mind interior space and boot capacity also so we're going to break this down, don't go anywhere, we'll get all the specs you need to know about what makes it tech, what they did with Google and what makes it so unique. Okay, so let's begin with the design and that will go on to touch on the aerodynamics and efficiency of the vehicle and features directly inspired from the crossover world give a sense of robustness. I believe that was what you first thought of when you saw it, right? Because it rides on a 20 inch wheel, okay? Protective strips on the lower side and wheel axe as you're looking at. You realize that the belt line is gone up high and the drop line of the roof has also been uh, modified a bit and it comes with wide tracks and flash door handle standard and that makes it feel more coupe like even though it's a hatch the confined height and roominess and boot capacity are suggestive of traditional hatchback models but this is a new breed i'm sure it's going to make become a pace setter right on the exterior as we've seen uh, i've seen a couple of colors so it comes with um six elegant and eye-catching body colors starting with the two grays which is the raphael gray and the schist gray you've got the midnight blue the flame red and the diamond black and the glacier white but it doesn't end there if you are the type that wants to add a personal touch to your cars you've got that customization option to 30 of them so for a more personal touch it can also come in two-tone finish by having the roof pillars and um, depending on the chosen trim that you have the side mirror guards in cyst gray diamond black or glacier white enabling 30 possible combinations so you can customize the exterior in terms of color whichever way you want it but on the upper trims there are other distinctive features that include a warm titanium color featured on the bumpers um, front blade and at the rear as well as the side air vent so if you go back and look at the model we have which is a top model in the middle there that is um the titanium um warm uh, mock-ups okay so this gives the all-new megan e-tech electric a strong sense of character and sportiness but let me come back to the 20 inch wheel that i mentioned this vehicle which is a top tier sits on a 20 inch wheel and 18 inch for the entry model that is what it is and comes with a choice between two 20 inch rims and two 18 inch rim options with Renault logo in the center of them so if you opt for the 18 inch you've got two different um, 18 inch set of design rim design wheel designs and same as a 20 right so take notes and um you you know if you are making the choice you customize your own to your taste all right this vehicle it comes to life i am saying this because it is equipped with high-tech lights and new light signature so this all new megan e-tech is a living robot a living native let me put it that way and it comes to life when you approach it displaying a unique welcome and lighting sequence the megan e-tech here incorporates flat flash door handles when the driver or front passenger approach to open a door or when the vehicle is unlocked the handles hidden in the body are automatically and electronically pushed out okay and this is the trick if it pops out for two minutes and nothing happens it pops back in remaining stationary when the car begins to move or when the doors are locked so that's what happens okay 
which makes it very interactive and I would like to have that on a hot hatch. Okay, so still on the interactiveness of it, let's tilt ourselves, get into the vehicle and just touch on one very important thing, which is the open R. The open R is a larger screen around and it is actually the cup and trinket of the new Renault Megane E interior compartment, a piece that embodies full range of onboard technology built into Renault's new generation of electric vehicles. We have seen this open R on the Trezor in 2016 and then on the Symbios in 2017 and then on the Morphos in 2019 concept pass. The brand new open R single screen combines in an upside down L shaped screen. Okay, so let me just give you the specifications of what you're looking at. I'm sure you've seen how it is extending from the instrument cluster down to the infotainment area. So the open R screen has a display area like no other, which is 12.13 inch dashboard screen with a resolution of 1920 by 720 pixel landscape that caters for the cluster. And then there's a 12 inch multimedia screen that is 1250 by 1562 pixel, which is in portrait format put together. However, when you move on to the lower entry models, you get a nine inch multimedia screen, which is 1250 by 834 pixels landscape. So it becomes a little bit smaller on the lower models, which is a great one. Um, as you have seen, it looks good to have all the screen in there. But the, the, the most interesting aspect of it is that it has a lot of Google integration because it was worked on with Google, but that is not where we are now. Let's look at space. So all in all, it offers 30 liters of onboard storage in which is best in class and then when you go to trunk it boasts of a total volume of 440 liters that um, are entirely usable given the space is rectangular in shape and boot capacity can be reached um, with the rear seats folded down in 40 60 split or 20 80 split formats whichever way and the front passenger um, it up right so this is what it is in terms of space but that is not where it ends i'm sure everybody wants to know about how it drives so the driving sensation and i'm just going to use four sentences to describe the driving sensation the first of it is optimized steering and agility based on the cmf um, 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 new platform okay you also have the increased posture support and then interior, you have patented sound cocoon. And finally, there's a new generation e models that sits in this car. So I'm just going to go right away and hit on the powertrain, the electric motors in this one. So the e-engine on this new Megan e-tech electric, uh, electric is brand new, developed within in the Alliance and are made at two different sites in Japan for Nissan and in Cleon factory in France for Renault. Now, specifically, this electrically excited synchronous motor, that is the EESM, boasts better power output compared to permanent magnetic motors, and each Megan Electric will be fitted with one of the following engines or electric motors, which is 130 horsepower and 250 newton meters of top as one option. And then the second option is a 218 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque option, which would be the most powerful at this point in time. And so, I mean, as usual, you get instantaneous acceleration and it takes the Megan E-Tech 0 to 100 kilometers in just 7.4 seconds. The Megan also comes with a choice of two battery capacities that I'm going to touch on. So just give me a jiffy and um, I'll be back. Right, so the two battery capacities in here is a 40 kilowatt hour battery for a range of 300 kilometers on WLTP cycles. And the second battery pack is a 60 kilowatt hour battery for a range of up to 470 kilometers on WLTP cycles, depending on the version that you have. And it is compatible with all AC charging infrastructures, starting with domestic sockets with 10A single phase green up socket 16a single phase wall box 32a single phase public charging station 16 single phase and public charging station 32a triple 
phase um, um, stations, okay? That is good, but let me emphasize something with the compatibility and fast charging option. So depending on the version you have, it can also be compatible with DC charging stations up to 130 kilowatts combo sockets charging infrastructure such as fast charging stations on the motorways too. So let me be a bit specific on that and create scenarios for you so you can have a clearer understanding of how the regenerative and fast charging works. Now, you can regain up to 400 kilometers of mixed driving overnight, eight hours of charge with a 7.4 kilowatts wall box. You can then again recover up to 160 kilometers of urban driving in one hour with a 22 kilowatts public um, charging station. So thirdly, you can also get to enjoy a recovery of 200 kilometers of motorway driving in 30 minutes with a 130 kilowatts fast charging station and finally finally you also get to uh, recover 300 kilometers uh, wltp in 30 minutes with 130 kilometers fast charging station so it remains one of the fastest in the market if not the fastest so you don't have a charging or refueling problem in any way but it still remains intuitive because of the open arrow link system that we've spoken about so let's delve into the open arrow um, link system which is powered by android automotive os which is based on android os which is the same operating system used to run more than 75 percent of smartphones around the world today so um, integration is supposed to be as easy and seamless okay google built in more than that the Open Arrow Link system actually integrates the best of Google apps and services built in other to build an overall experience residing on three main pillars. And the three main pillars will be Google Maps, Google Assistance for hands-free, and Google Assistance to proactively um, suggest based on AI, um, AI algorithms. Okay, so let me go back to Google Maps for navigation. The system will give you real-time traffic information, POI, favorite restaurants, voice activation, and always up to date directions and more. When it comes to Google Assistance for hands free, you also get to enjoy driver voice control for um, voice control for media, certain vehicle functions such as climate and multi sense settings, and Google Map directions, and all that. And then the third bit is Google Assistant, which also proactively, for example, suggests destination based on your daily habits uh or to suggest music to play and google actually cataloged more than 40 apps that are designed to be used with the system in the car for music media podcast and more so there's so much to interact with um, on the go if you e-tech megan it is actually a service based um, vehicle rather than you know just drive and go you also get to enjoy 26 advanced driver assistant systems on the megan e and it is divided into categories driving parking and safety which brings this vehicle top of its class in terms of driver comfort and safety for passengers and other on roaders we are about you know concluding so how about sound system well with sound system the same premium sound quality for everyone on board in addition to the two Acme sound system that comes as standard on the entry and mid-level trims the new Megan E features a brand new Harman Kardon top of the line sound system on the premium trim, which is optional on the um, mid levels. And so you got great sound in there and everybody enjoys the same level of quality in, in the vehicle. Pre-orders um, for the Megan E electric will open in february next year 2022 with the model going on sale in ireland first in march about pricing we don't have any yet but based on the price of um similarly sized renault kaja and adding an ev premium we are projecting something north of um 35 000 euros for the start but we'll still update you guys on this one in the course of time so this is what we got for you i think it's about everything that you need to know now about the megan is a great vehicle i love to have come across it and i would love to personalize one for myself um, 